Hello everybody and welcome to another video. In this video it's going to be my Air Tycoon 4 series. <laughs> now last time we were uh, we were setting up routes of the 737 and AC21. We got loads of routes put in uh, and managed to up our profits pretty much to an all-time high, nearly to an all-time high. Um, I think that once we do what we're going to be doing today, it will probably become an all-time high, I should think. So yes, today, as I've been saying for ages and ages and ages, we're going to be finally replacing the MD-11, which was going to be the biggest project that we're going to be having to be doing and so far. Uh, we're going to be trying to get uh, as many 777s as we can uh, and 777-200s to replace the MD-11. We have 76 MD-11s. What I'm going to be doing is I am going to be all... I'm going to be getting to... I think I'm going to... Oh, I don't know how to do this. I want to try and get at least 10 billion. We're just short of that now. I think that if I just go through a few months and I should have enough, but I want to make sure that there's enough months left so then in the summer we can see the repercussions of putting these ones in. So, in fact, I think I should only need, I'll probably need only March and April and that should push it over hopefully. But yes, I just want to see the major repercussions of how this is going to be turning out because, uh, yes, the triple seven will be making lots of money for us once we put it in. Uh, and, oh, we're going to get... Oh, we're gonna get a lot less, um, a lot less money now because look, there's heavy snow in bombing New York. <laughs> we're just like one of our biggest hubs, so yeah, that's gonna be fun. Oh god, we're gonna have really low profits, aren't we? But April, I mean, I'll be surprised if it doesn't go below 200 million. Then I should think then. And now it's in Philadelphia and Detroit. Is it honestly trying to kill it? Next, it's gonna be Los Angeles next, or London, or something. It's gonna be Los Angeles, London, and St. Louis next. <laughs> really is. Anyway, we are now in, uh, and we're always broke, we're now got 10 billion. So, yeah, we're now in April, so this is our uh, worst month, so we're not going to see the repercussions after this, and finally the DCA is going to have a reduction, you have to bloody do. Uh, in fact, is that, I think it's that just the passenger variant, or is that the whole thing? Um, yes, it is the whole thing, Jesus. <laughs> well, we are now going to start getting the, uh, apparently all the, uh, well, none of the classics are left. So yes, we're going to get the triple seven two hundred. Now we've got ten billion. As I said, we're now in April. So by the time that they're put into service, the repercussions will be pretty obvious. I should think. Hopefully, maybe sort of. <laughs> I think I swear that was my thing back in twenty fifteen. It was like hopefully, maybe sort of. I have no idea. Anyway, right. Let's configure these planes with the brand new seating, uh, which I think they already have. Yes, they do. Because um, uh, yeah, I didn't want to put all of these in, have seventy six of them, and having to renovate them. Oh, I said I was going to do that at the end of the last episode, didn't I? Sorry, I was just rushing into this one. <laughs> really was. In fact, I think they should all just be at the scene that they um they were normally. Yeah, I thought they would be. So anyway, yeah, they're 252 million each. Oh god, how much is this going to be? Um, oh, it's wondering what's happened there. Two and a half billion. So that means we can only get 40. Okay. In fact, we might not even. I think we'll only get just under 40. So we're not going to get all of these done. Well, this is gonna be, what's going to happen is it's going to happen, I thought this might happen, we're going to get probably about half of them and then the rest of them we're going to be ordering them in ones and twos, maybe threes occasionally. So that's <laughs> this is going on forever. So yeah, that's why I wanted to get to 10 billion because I knew that this would be a huge investment that we'd have to make. I mean, I think we'll definitely get another 10 more and then after that I don't think we'll get another 10. I think we'll get about another, we'll probably get nine knowing my luck. <laughs> It'll probably be about a billion out, uh, a billion out, or probably about a million out, because it, yeah, it does sometimes. Like one time, I think I was getting a DC-10, and this was in Norwich Airways, and it cost 159 million, and I, and um, but it was slightly up the price because of the um, like the seating, and it was just under 160 million, and I had it was uh, it was 159 million, like 700,000 and something, and then I had like 700,000, like I was like 20 thousand dollars out. <laughs> It was very annoying. In fact, can I? Will I be able to order all these? Dun 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 dun. Oh, I can. <laughs> Good. With about how much have I got to spare? Thirty-five million to spare. Okay then. So we've now got um. And so we've now got forty of these. So that's. I mean, what's it? Seventy-six. What's half of seventy-six? Thirty-eight. <laughs> we've got just two over half. So yes, we've um. We've got a pretty good job actually. Uh, nice looking livery on it. Um, it looks it looks a lot shorter than it should be. Is that just me? It might just be me. <laughs> I think I might. In fact, is the ER a bit longer? Did I hear that somewhere? I have no clue. <laughs> and that'll be. This is going to be our main plane replacing it. 
Uh, as I said, Orbit's got 313 seats and the ND11 has 301, I think, so we've got uh, an extra 12 seats on this. Uh, so it shouldn't be a huge increase, but the efficiency levels, uh, two engines over three, uh, is definitely going to be helpful for our airline. So, in fact, no! I was going to say we're gonna, we can do it in the summer, but we can't because we're going to have to get these delivered, aren't we? Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm not going to be able to see it this year then. I'm not going to be able to see it. So, see what I tell you. I told you we were, if I would be surprised we didn't go over um, the 200 million in April. Uh, simply because of this. This is extremely fun, isn't it? But yeah, hopefully the profit should go up uh, by the summer. Uh, the snow sh snowstorm shouldn't be there in the summer. I was going to say, did it freeze? <laughs> No, it didn't. It just uh, was very, very slow and a bit laggy. We've got those now. So, yeah, let's do our first batch of uh, putting these triple sevens in then. But as I said, we can't put all of these in there because, uh, oh no, we won't be able to uh, replace all of the MD11s, but I hope I can get most of them. So uh, we, yeah, we did have four of them. So that's uh, there's only 36 of them left. It's just it seems like that there's a lot. Um, well, there actually is. I've done all I've done all the ones from Los Angeles. Now the only ones that are left are the few that are left from New York and the ones from London. Uh, there was actually quite a few left in Los Angeles, and I expected it. it seems like that there's apps there's the most that there is is probably from London. Uh, but apparently, uh, yeah, it's uh, <laughs> there wasn't that many in Los Angeles. So yes, we're gonna um and sell all these and uh, so yeah because they are quite young we should get uh, a bit quite a bit of money out of this so uh yeah work towards getting more triple sevens uh that is three and that's three billion so that means we can get at least ten and probably about another two more i'd reckon in fact no not about two, two or three maybe i don't know <laughs> i'm just trying to guess what that is um yeah i should think that two there probably be, won't be enough for a third one and let's find out then, shall we? Uh, so yeah, there will be at least ten because it is about two point five, uh, two point five two four zero three zero billion. Uh, so yes, uh, oh that's only yeah that'll be only two I think. In fact, I don't know that could be three. I think it'll be three with probably about thirty million to spare, a bit like last time. <laughs> In fact, ha hang on, let's just have a look. Really? No, it'll only be two. It'll only be two, and uh, yeah, for how, how much is left? Uh, 194 uh, million, like that. So, yes, how many have we got now? 12? Yeah, we've got an extra 12, so yes, let's just uh, go through the turns. Hopefully, now this can start making us a little bit more money because I've got slightly bigger capacity. I, I, I up the schedules a week. I'd say about, what was it, about half a dozen of them needed uh, extra uh, schedules uh, a week. Uh, but yes, uh, most of them didn't. Uh, so yes, yeah, so there's only a few that did. Whoa! I was going to say, <laughs> loads of them have come out. Oh no, it's just an extra one on top of the two that have already been. Uh, oh, f finally, the MV90 is going out of production. Oh uh, yeah, we did that. We did use that for quite a few years, but we've got the uh, lovely efficient 737-800 in service now. So yes, let's just let's just get these deli delivered then. And uh, even on top of the sales of this, we've also got the steady profit coming in as well. Uh, was that August? You know why that's not a top? The reason why it's not a tuck is supposed to be the snowstorm. And the snowstorm, it always lasts until it says the next one is coming. That's what I found out. Even if it goes through summer, it will just last until the next one. Oh no, that was July. Ooh, we could be getting this. So let's just have a look. Um, has it been like another snowstorm or something like that? Well, actually, Philadelphia and Detroit. So that's it. That was ages ago. Why was I even worried? <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, look, it's only for a month. But what they do is, what they'll do, they'll only do it for the specific, like, once one snowstorm happens, even if the next one happens on the other side of the world, um, 
there will be uh, like that once once one another one starts the other one ends even if it's like a hurricane like well once there's heavy snow if there's a hurricane on the other side of the world then the heavy snow will stop in that place it's a weird way of doing it but that's just the way they've done it so yes let's actually put these ones in then as well And so I've got a, a billion uh, already, so yeah, hopefully this should uh, contribute to probably near about the same number we had last time. So we could be able to um, get about um, another ten and triple sevens, hopefully. Uh, oh god, no one here. In fact, what? Really? <laughs> I was going to say, why didn't I get any money out of that? Because you didn't sell the other ones, you idiots, right? Let's get these ones as well, sell them. Uh, yeah, just so I can um, get as much money as possible. Uh, oh, that's going to be about eight, I'd imagine. Yeah, I think it's going to be about eight triple seven. So uh, <laughs> still not the same. This is actually not as bad as I thought it was. I thought that we were going to be going down to ordering like two at a time or whatever, but you know, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Uh, so yeah, so how many can we get? Uh, can we get that? So uh, yeah, only eight. I thought we could only get eight. Uh, so yes, let's order eight then. So I've already got those 52 in service now, so we only have 24 left to do, so after we've got uh, those, so we've got um, 8, so that should go down to 16. So then uh, we only need 16 more after that, so <laughs> yeah, maybe we can get it done this episode. I know this one's going to be made up of tiny little time lapses, uh, like slotted over together, and then it'll probably become even shorter and shorter and shorter, but I don't care. <laughs> Hopefully I could get my half profit right now because I've got all the triple sevens that I've just put in. No. <laughs> Why didn't I? That was August. Why didn't I get really high profit? I'm actually quite confused by that. Why didn't I get a high profit as I would as I did before? The typhoon shouldn't have affected it. Is, it, is that snow still affecting it? If that is, I'm gonna be really annoyed. I don't know. I don't know why it's doing that, but I think that I don't know. Maybe maybe it's just because we're trying to get used to these triple sevens all coming in. I don't know. It could be something to do with that. Who knows, who knows, but yeah, we just want to get uh, all of these put into service as quick as we can so then we can minimise the uh, disruption that I think it might be causing because then it will just turn into absolute pandemonium, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's happening, I think uh, yeah, it, it might be just that they're getting adjusted to it. And, well, I'll be surprised because I'm surprised there wasn't like a huge um, upside of passenger numbers because I think there would have been. So yes, anyway, let's uh, get those these ones in as well. Because there's only the there's only a few ones left from London. That's literally the only ones that's left now. But apparently I had 24 London routes. I had loads of routes, but I did quite a few from London. I probably did about, well, I don't know, like seven, eight routes from London. So yeah, we did have a bunch of them. But yeah, we don't have very many left. But so uh, yeah, swaps were finished then. That'll be the end of the MV11. Again, that's all those done then, so we've got those eight out of service, where are they? There we go. <laughs> yeah, I know I am just replacing them randomly, but if I can get these all done then it shouldn't really matter. Uh, so yes, uh, let's get all of these then, uh, how much money we're going to get from this. Uh, we are going to get just over two billion, so that'll be about, or oh, I think it might be eight again actually. Maybe we're going to go down to eights instead of to ones and twos, I don't know. <laughs> It's going to be like 8s and 9s or 8s and 7s or whatever, I have no clue what it's going to be. But apparently we're going to have another 8 uh, or it could be 7. Uh, I don't quite know how much it was to get 8. Uh, oh, we only just now have enough to get 8, look at that. Okay then, so we'll do that then. Uh, but we're going to be... Oh, we're not going to be able to do it for... Um, in fact, no, we should be able to. I was thinking we won't be able to, but yeah, it should be October, because I was thinking it was going to be November and it was going to be absolutely terrible for it, but no, it should be okay. Uh, so anyway, let's get these in then. And, uh, oh no, it will be November. Yeah, so I mean, or it will be December, but it will have November's profit. So I don't think I'll have enough. So I think I'll just um, go into the next turn to get a bunch of cash from Christmas and then we can put the rest in. But, I mean, literally all you have to do is just eight of them and then it's just another eight and then we're done. So, <laughs> again, it wasn't as much, uh, it wasn't as bad as I expected it would be. Sorry, I was about to do it, then I realised I literally just ordered them and then... <laughs> I literally just ordered them and then I decided to jump at the moment when I don't even have them. Yet. <laughs>
So the profit's going to be completely terrible over these next two months, but then it should be December, so then what we'll have to do, we'll just uh, have to just do the next turn. And I'm like, I'll just I'll just go over the next turn, then I'll order them, so I have a massive wad of cash from the sold MD-11s, uh, plus uh, that extra cash, and then hopefully that should mean that we can get uh, a bit more, uh, uh, yeah, we should be able to get all of the MD-11s and then have a bit more money left to spare, so... <laughs> That should be good because uh, yeah, I do quite want that. So then we can put in some more planes. Uh, we've got seven six seven four hundred, which I'm not going to be using. Uh, so yes, uh, we've got those triple sevens now finally. So uh, yes, we can now finally do it. So what I've done is I actually got rid of 747 because I think I must have put it on the Phoenix route when it was really high but now it's only 329 and that's not 747 capacity so I just did that. Uh, I'm not going to be 7, I'm just going to uh, uh, put it on that where it says Los Angeles to Shanghai, that's the um, oldest aircraft so I, this is what I do if it, I just replace the oldest aircraft so then I'm not selling like a, a younger aircraft and then the older ones um, and start going out of lifespan. And then I'm thinking, well, why did I sell that younger one? There's an old one here that I could have replaced. So, yeah, that's why I just do that. And so, yeah, it's about a year older. Uh, so, yeah, that should uh, just uh, prolong the lifespan. And the yeah, aircraft for that road, but yeah, that'll be replaced by a 777-300 uh, at some point. So, what am I doing? I am getting rid of this 747. Uh, so, that should just give us a bit of, ca a bit of cash, uh, as well as the, uh, the rest of the MD-11s that we managed to replace, the 7 that we did. Uh, but I just, I just thought that would be necessary, since, since seeing as we're replacing all of these, I thought that that would be a, a good... Uh, da, 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 da. No, that's the wrong one. I want to go right to the bottom, because uh, apparently I tried to I replace the youngest one that there was. <laughs> and not all the other ones in between, because that's just how I roll. And so all those, how much are we going to get? Nowhere near them as much as we got last time, but... As I said, we're going to go through Christmas and then just get a bit more money from that, so then we can uh, get... Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get uh, as much as we did before. No, we're going to, really going to be able to get seven. That's a bit annoying. <laughs> wow, just wow. Perfect, and perfect, isn't it? Right. Never in a perfect world. Right, anyway, what am I doing? I need to get the MD-11s. MD-11s? Triple sevens. <laughs> Shows you my attention. I'm going to everything. Right? Yes, I know everything about it. Just need to order them. Uh, so yes, let's do that then. In fact, what I should just do is because there's only have I only have to do two. Let's just order seven of these because we can't do because uh, we can't do eight. Let's order the seven of them. And because there's two left that there is that we won't be able to replace. Let's just um, let's go through the turns. We'll go through January and then I'll order the two or one or whatever just then so then I can replace it. Uh, hopefully, will we have enough? Uh, we need about five hundred and seven million to do that. I think. Do we have enough? Oh yeah, we have plenty. Let's do that then. Oh, replacing triple sevens, my favourite. Right, let's just do that then. And get these, get these, right, and then go... Bosh! Right, all done. Should we just get them all delivered? Yeah, let's just, uh, let's get the, uh, the other ones delivered, plus the ones that we've just ordered now. Uh, I think would be pretty good, so then we can just, uh, yeah, just put them all in at the same time, and we don't have to go through an extra turn to then get them. I think that'd be kind of annoying. Uh, so yes, right, get you, like that. And then uh, go to the next time because what it was, it was. I think it, I thought it must have been. Uh, it, it was going to be bad because when I, because uh, I've got this airline. I think I called it Air America or something. There, uh, I was replacing my uh, DC eights with the uh, DC tens, and uh, it just took a while and to get them all because I was just like because I just wasn't making that money and I was constantly going and ordering one or ordering two or something like that. Sounds a bit weird, but yes, uh, we can now finally put these ones in as well and that should be the last of the MD-11s gone. And then that's the last of them replaced. I don't know why I said, and then, it's like a story. And then they were all gone. Well, not quite gone yet. I still need to sell them, but yeah, md eleven served us well <laughs> in its life from, when, when did we bring it into service? 1991? I think so. I can't remember. So it's only been in service about 10 years, but it was a valuable replacement to the DC-10, but we have more efficient stuff from the company that took you over the McDonnell Douglas, and in fact, this is the last McDonnell Douglas aircraft we'll ever have. So this will be the first time since we've ever started up the airline that we won't have a McDonnell Douglas aircraft. How sad, anyway. <laughs> Goodbye! That will be the end of you, then. So, 
Yes, no more Don Douglas aircraft. We are now literally down to Boeing, Airbus, and Fokker, but those Fokkers are going to be replaced with Embraers, so yeah. <laughs> We're now down to uh, three types of Boeing aircraft, uh, th and three types of Airbus, because Concorde is Airbus in this game, and then Fokker. Uh, yeah, it was just the ones we have left, which are going to be replacing with the uh, Embraer E-Jets when they come out, uh, only in about three years, I'd say. So I've got others in there. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to have a look at some of the uh, some of the 747 routes, because I just want to have a, uh, just have a see uh, whether they actually still deserve to have the 747 on there, because there was some when I was putting the 777s on, and I was looking at routes, and I went to, I don't know, I think I went to Beijing, and then I went there, and I thought, oh, that's not too high, that's probably got an MD-11 on it, and I went there, and it said 747 I was thinking, okay then, so I don't know why I didn't replace it, but... I don't know, I didn't decide not to, so by the looks of it, we still have got the uh, Los Angeles to Beijing, and is it London to Beijing, I'd imagine, that we've got on there, but yeah. Uh, oh yeah, London to Beijing. Uh, then I just found my uh, London to Singapore route, which... Uh, <laughs> Well, that's part of my um, my stopover route to uh, Sydney, which actually does exist in real life with... Uh, I think it exists with Qantas and British Airways, so they both do the A380 now with that, so... I know that Qantas does. Uh, I should think that uh, British Airways do as well, so... Yes! Um, right, what are we doing? Um, so <laughs> no idea. I think... Hang on. Let's have a look at Beijing. I think it's just two routes out of Beijing, because uh, I don't think we go from um, New York. And yes, it is. Got a little V-shape there, so we need two more 777s then, uh, just to do that, so... <laughs> In fact, no, that might not be the only place, so let's just keep it like that then. So we've got Beijing, so we've got two more that we need then. So we're going to be, uh, yeah, just cutting down on our 747s a bit. Uh, Bangkok was fine, I remember Seoul's fine, Hong Kong's like 500 now, London and Paris fine, Rome is fine. In fact, no, is Rome fine? I hope it's fine. <laughs> Rome, 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 Rome. Is it fine? Oh, yes, that's definitely fine. <laughs> and Athens? Ooh. Do you know what? I might keep that on because it does get up to like 400 in the 21st century. So, to be honest, I think it's just gone on down right now. Well, in fact, Beijing might as well. I'm just thinking, well, here's the thing. So, then what will happen is that once the 777-300 comes around and then we go like, oh yeah, I want to put the um, the 777-300 on there, I'm just forgetting the 777 200 I don't know. If I know because I don't know, I'll just have a look, I don't know. <laughs> you know what, let's do that then. So um, I'll need uh, two uh, on there as well, so we'll need four in total. I think we might have enough of that. Yeah, so we need four triple sevens then. Right, come on. Get ordered. We need you. <laughs> This is an urgent matter if we need you, right, uh, yeah, we have enough. In fact, I think we would be able to order two more, yeah, we would, but... <laughs> we don't need that many, so yes, let's get them. And I'll see how the airline's doing with, uh, there's no aircraft coming in, but that was just April, so yeah, we're not going to get uh, that. And good profits, but yes, we should be doing it. Oh, 111's going to happen soon. <laughs> I just remember mine myself out of time. Oh yeah, we're going to be attacked, and that means that the whole of US airspace is going to be closed soon. <laughs> Come on, hurry up. Uh, 399 million. It's alright. <laughs> I don't mind that this is money coming in. Uh, which is what we need to uh, uh, to uh, run these routes. Uh, Winter Olympic Games in Salt Lake City. I'll already hooked up with her with AC 21s, I do believe. At least I think. Uh, well, don't <laughs> Why do they do that? There's only one. Uh, so, yes. Uh, right. Let's go Los Angeles to Beijing. Uh, then I think I'll go Los Angeles to Beijing, then I'll do Athens, then I'll go New York, Beijing, then Athens. I think that'll be the easiest. So. Right, yeah. I mean, that's making 8 million right now, and that's about the tops that a 777 would probably do, so yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that's about right. In fact, do you know what? Let's wait, because we're coming up to the summer, and I just want to have a look to see how they do in the summer, because if they're doing okay, then we can keep them on, but if they're sort of dragging, if they're only doing, I don't know, like 70% capacity, then we will have a look at replacing them, but to be honest, I don't know if we will do, so... Yeah, let's just, uh, we'll, we'll go in, we'll go in August, we'll go in the most profit, profitable month of the year, uh, just to have a look at that then. Yeah, I know what we're doing now, we're just going through turns, wasting turns, I know, I know, I know, but I need to check. <laughs> need to make sure I'm making as much money as possible. By the looks of it, look, we did that last year, didn't we? So then is it going to do it this year as well? Go through August then, how much are we going to get? That's lower. That's it. Do you know why? Probably that Phoenix route. Why did we get, how did that happen? How did that happen? We were making shed loads. I don't know. What? What? I'm sorry, but we were making absolute tons. Let's have a look at that. Um, right. Uh, Beijing. You see, that's ten million. That's eighty-seven percent. 
So if that's 10 million, that can stay at 10 million. So do you know what? That Phoenix route. So that Phoenix route then, that could have used a 747. So what's going on with the 777? Is there something with the 777s that has gone wrong? Because when with the MD-11s, the MD-11, we were making loads. And now suddenly it's dropped. I don't actually know what's going on. This is a mystery. What have the 777s done? I don't know if it's a 777s. What have I done other than the 777s? I've literally just replaced them. I took one 747 out. I didn't change the prices. I didn't do anything other than that. Why have I suddenly gone from making 672 million in August to making 637? Have the passengers gone down massively or something? In fact, we could have a look. As if the passenger numbers have gone way down, then I don't know. A World Traveller Index, that's what I mean. That's what World Traveller Index done. Um, stayed about the same. Is that the year when we made about a bajillion, like, when we made that massive amount? I think there might be that little bump there. The passenger seems to be staying the same. And then the company summary, we went down. Oh, is it, oh that's the MD-11 being sold. <laughs> I was going to say, we've gone down. Of course we have, you idiots. Has the fuel price gone up massively? No, it's dropped. I went, oh, that was a fuel crisis, I think. There might be a fuel crisis, I don't know. In fact, no, there wasn't. I think it just went up steeply. I mean, it's, it's gone up a bit, and now it's heading back down again. Was it because it reached an all-time low? So, look, that's August. It was not last year, it was the year before. It was 1999, wasn't it? And that, look how low that was. I think that could be why. I don't know, though. In fact, that might be why we made so much that time. That's why, look, last August, that's why we went down. Look at the fuel price. It must be something to do with the fuel price. I don't know. Because it seems like there's just the triple sevens that have done it. Maybe we're just trying to recover. I don't know. Because they have got... It's not like that they've got less capacity. If they had less capacity, then we'd be making less. But they've got more capacity. And in fact, they're faster, so they've got higher schedules a week on some of the routes. Why are they suddenly losing all my money? <laughs> so that was Los Angeles to Beijing. What's Los Angeles to Athens? Let me just have a look at this. So by the looks of it, we can still use that. In fact, should I just put the, um, the 747 back on the Phoenix route? Because I'm really tempted to do that now, because... I don't know if that's affected it in any way. Um, uh, oh no. If I, in fact, why did I order that other one? Why did I order that other one? I only needed three. Do you know why? Because that other one was from London, and that's got an A330 on it. Let's get them. What did the MD MD11s have? I can't even remember now. The MD11s definitely had like 301, didn't they? Yes, because I saw that. It wasn't 401. That was a 747. So it's definitely not a capacity issue. It must be the fuel price. It must be. Hang on, is it, what is the fuel price? Is it higher now than it was last time? Yes, it is. By about 100,000. Multiply that by many planes, that might be understandable. But hang on, wait a second. That doesn't make sense, because last August we made more. And look at the fuel price then. I don't know. It's nothing to do with world travellers. Unless that... In fact, no, that's not even there. That's like that's like the start of the century. That's, that's Christmas. Summer's like there. Something was on those MD-11s. I don't know what's up with the triple seven because this has never happened before. Is it got? Is it the new seating that's done it? Why would that affect it? In fact, that should up profits, not make them worse. I don't. Is it because there's an imbalance? I'm trying to. I'm trying to think if there's an imbalance because all of the other aircraft they've got lower capacity. Um, capacity. They've got lower cap. In fact, that shouldn't affect it. I have no idea why we just lost all that money. It can, it's either, either down to the fuel price, because, like, the one traveller index hasn't changed at all, it's pretty much been level. Like, what we've done is replace the, it seems like ever since we replaced the drill sevens, everything's just gone thump. I am completely shocked, because, as I said, if it was a lower, if, it, if the plane was a lower capacity, that would explain. I am going to go back and have a look and just make sure that it did actually have 301 seats, because if that was, say, I don't know, 401, no, MD-11, it was 410 passengers, wasn't it? This is 440. It's nothing to do with the passengers. It can't be. It can't be anything to do with the passengers. Look how many seats there is. We've got perfectly good seats. We haven't changed the prices. Like, what has affected it? It seems to be that snowstorm. Now, is there anything that's happened? Has there been a bumming economic crisis which I haven't seen or something? Or an oil crisis which I haven't seen? Don't know why there would. That blooming New York and Washington. It was that blooming heavy snow. Is that because it's still carrying on and the game's broken or something? I do not know. Let me just check these routes again. The Athens to uh, New York route, because I didn't probably check that. I just want to see how that's doing. I mean, we can use the 767 for something else. That can't be. It can't be. Look, look how high it is now. That's actually higher than it was. That snowstorm couldn't have affected it at all. That must be over now. 
In fact, that's the highest I've ever seen New York tour. That was 599 the last time I checked it. It's going through the roof. I don't know. In fact, look at the profits on that. Because I don't know, there was all these routes that were all filling up. I mean, look at all these AC21s, they're all still filling up. There is something that's happened. Something has happened. It's probably bleeding obvious as well. It's something that I... But how could the triple seven affect the whole thing? I have no clue what's just happened. I don't know, maybe it'll sort itself out soon. It'll sort it out at Christmas and then we'll go right through the roof again. Because I was expecting to put these in, start making probably, oh, like, a bit more, um, like, probably about the same amount, if not higher, and then set up more routes, like, 737s and stuff. I haven't replaced any of the planes apart from, like, I haven't touched the 747s apart from the Phoenix route. As I said, something's happened, and I don't know what has gone on. But did I accidentally tap a button which said, I don't know, put higher prices on all the routes or something? I don't know, like, let me just look at something like Houston to Los Angeles, what's that like? No, like, I mean, they're, they're still making shed loads. I have no idea. In fact, I'm probably going to, I'm going to keep those 777s, we can set up routes of them again. But hang on a second. Ah! Let's renovate them. That could be behind it. I mean, we can do that, because, I mean, look at the seating. The seating is a bit behind. I mean, we can update all the seating, and I can do that outside of episode, but I don't know. That might be it. It might be something to do with that, but I am completely gobsmacked about why that isn't doing that. And why has that done all the planes but one? Is there, like, one of one, like, 60%? I know there's one that's 71, because I probably bought that later on. Yes, I did. Um, right, let me just renovate that. But, yeah, apparently this has happened. I don't know what's gone on. Um, I'll... I'll try and investigate outside of episode. Also, what I want to do is I want to uh, renovate all of these, so I'll do that outside of episode. Sorry, this has gone on for quite a long time. But yeah, I am really confused by that. I don't know why that would affect it. I don't know what's happened. I put the triple sevens in and it's all gone pear-shaped. Like, what have I done? Has it, it might... It, I think it might just be that a lot of the planes have just got extra... They're just getting so low on satisfaction now. That could be it. So if I renovate all of these, that should should fix the problem in theory. I mean, what's Concord like? I mean, Concord's still there. But they all, they're just all getting old, I think. I mean, look at the, look at the first London routes that we set up with Concord. They're all starting to get a bit low now. I said, maybe it's something to do with that. In fact, did I even change the seats on Concord before? Only does 1%, really. <laughs> and like, normal 1%, I mean. I oh, know, but I don't care. I just want to get those, uh, old... Oh, it's done that again, hasn't it? Oh, for crying out loud. Anyway, yes, yeah, so that'll be the end of this video. I've gone on way too long. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. If you just enjoyed that one as well. Bye.